Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well, welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please bear witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization, because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, it's all I'm asking. Alright, actually, hold on a second. If you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have any paid <laughs> memberships on the channel. I don't sell any courses, never will. So every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements. But that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube. And the videos I do, I do create, it's not like r some random videos. It's actually questions and requests from people that having issues with their Shopify store or want some customization. I do make the video for them and provide the code completely free. So it's a win-win situation. But I let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a, less, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to make the filters and the sorting options a button on the collection page on the mobile for your Shopify store. And this was requested two times, and here I am making the video. So as I said in this video, I will show you how to make the sorting options and the filters a button. A single button that clicks on it, then it will show you the filters and the sorting options and so on. And it will display on top of the collections grids on your Shopify store for the mobile. And if you want to do that for the desktop, let me know. But for now, this video is for the mobile. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. And yeah, this video will not use any apps or anything like that. We will use our own custom code. So as you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every video I do create, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one also is the most requested one. What if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify team, the most used once again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense and trade. And if you are wondering why is that? Because I do actually try my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine and i just have to say this in the beginning to give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me on the video doing it on down team and you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no it is and here is your peace of mind and without the way let's just get to it and show you how to make a sorting options and the filters options a single button taken to full width on the collection page on the mobile and this is this is the shopify store where i do all the tricks so every little thing that you see in the shopify store I did it in tutorials, literally everything. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here on the channel, on the store, sorry, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes, I keep them so people can see them. So let's just access some uh, collection page, uh, sorry, yeah, collection page. Oh yeah, add in icons to the menus. I did show that in the video. So let's just access the tech accessory. Oh yeah, making the banner full width for the collection. I did that in a video as well. It's many, many more. So let me switch to the mobile now. Uh, here we go. So as you can see, it looks like filters and sortings, but it's not. It's now a button. If I click on it, then it will show me the drawer like this with the options for the uh, filtering as well as the sorting. Let me close this. So we will add a button in here taking full width and it looks way, way better. You will see that in a second. So obviously we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Use the search bar and type in team.liquid. Team, as you can see, team.liquid, here it is. Click on it. A bunch of code will show up. After that, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file and you will see this section right here where it says forward slash body. And before it, there is forward slash script. So we need to create some space between this tag of body and the script tag. But there is no space in here. To create that space, click front of the script. Then in my case, it's script. In yours, it's going to be something else. I don't know. Just click front of the last thing above forward slash body then hit enter on your keyboard here we go we have a completely new space to paste in our code and where are you gonna get that code you need to hire a developer pay him with 24 hours 
I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code as you can see that will do the trick. We'll create the code and we'll create the button, sorry, and the button will have the options for the sorting as well as the filters. So select the whole code in here, make sure to select the whole thing, the right click, copy, then get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. Just make sure it's above forward slash body. That's really important. So let's just paste it in here. Now let's just click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's save it. We'll get back to the collection page, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. Ta -da! Check it out now. As you can see, it's a button on top of the grids for the collection, for the cards, uh, for the projects. And if I click on it, then it will show me the drawer for the, uh, the filters as well as the sorting options. If I close it like this, it's going to say a button like this says filters and sort. And there is the icon for the filters and sorting. If I click on it, here it is again. And that's how you show a filter or make the sorting options or the filters options show as a button on the collection page. And as I said, if you are interested in for this in the desktop, drop me a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. But for now, I think my job it is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.